TPRR just released a brand new Easter update. This update includes updates to some animatronics like the Light Princess and four brand new animatronics that you can get in Old Man Consequences. So let's start with the Light Princess update. I'm not sure exactly what is different, so I'm just gonna showcase the character and go over it like it's all brand new. We do have alternate characters we can turn into from Cassidy. Oh man, that that's probably not right. We have Spirit Cassidy. Still still doesn't look right to me. We have Fredbear, Withered Fredbear. We have Golden... Oh, my head fell off. Okay. We have Golden Freddy, Vengeful Spirit. Oh, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like this one. This one's a little creepy. We have Grieving Fredbear. Oh, I remember this skin. Oh, this one's really cool. I remember it from years ago, it feels like. And then we have a suit up as well. A bunch of different emotions for the face. Smug, happy, shock. Oh there we go. That's more fitting. We have a suit up as well. We can put on the armor. And then we can spawn a light sword. We can spawn a lantern. And it looks like that is it for the light princess. It looks like there was updates to a lot of different animatronics. It looks like these things were updated as well. Why do they look like that? Uh, looks like Tiger Rock was updated, the Pizza Jester was updated, and the Princess Quest enemies were updated as well. So let's just, let's check out Tiger Rock really quick. He is one of my favorites, even though I still haven't read his book. Oh, hey, there it is. I do remember he was a little broken on launch, so I am glad that they updated him and fixed him up. We have a bunch of different uniforms. We have a casual wear. We have a player scan, a punch. Break off limbs and head. Oh my god. We have a sprint. We have a candy stick we can toggle in his mouth. We have a back guitar we can toggle. We can toggle the teeth lights as well. And we can turn into Noir. We have a designer. Oh my god. That vest. That's Is that Gucci? Is that Louie? Oh man. We have Christmas as well. Not quite Easter, but... I mean, close enough, honestly. And now for the main part of the update, the four brand new animatronics. The first one is Ticket Freddy. As you can imagine, Ticket Freddy is a little expensive. He does cost 1,500 tickets to get, but I mean, he's literally made out of 1,500 plus tickets. So you're getting your money's worth for sure. And he's got a fire eye, oh my God. We have an attack. He even attacks with tickets as well. Crimson Infinite Wealth. We have Toggle Ticket Trail. We have Toggle Staff. Oh, it's Ticket Staff. We need that. We can toggle the eye as well, but I mean, you gotta have it. We have a punch. Oh, you can throw the staff. We have Fake Ticket. We got pranked. I can't believe it. I pranked myself. We have Ticket Pinata. Spend your own tickets to spawn a ticket pinata? 12 hours? Oh, man. I'm gonna do it. Oh, a ticket pinata. I'm gonna attack it. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna open up the ticket pinata. If no one else is gonna do it, I might as well. Give me my tickets back. I need those. If I don't have those tickets, I'll run out. This thing takes forever to open. I do like there's a big cooldown on it, so you can't just spam it and get it yourself. Oh, summoning this in the middle of a big lobby would go crazy. We also have a ticket drop as well. 30 of your own tickets, can't use for another 12 hours. What is this song? What is this? Also, I can't pick up any of my tickets again. Oh no, tickets are everywhere. I'll throw a fake ticket in there as well. I still can't open the pinata. The song is still going. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. He does have the basic Freddy sounds though. I don't know what else I expected him to sound like, not gonna lie. Also, this song is still going. The storyteller? What is this guy from? He kind of looks like Tiger Rock. I'm assuming they're related. I haven't read the book. Uh, residing within the fake baobab tree inside the center of the pizza plex, storyteller is the large tiger bust housing tiger buzz, housing a central processing system connected to every attraction in the building using the Mimic One protocol. It remixes stories and performances into new ones. 
But of course, Mimic 1 amplifies and corrupts the characters and attractions, resulting in deadly consequences for anything its robots touch. Oh my god, he's huge. I don't know what I expected. He is massive. The way he crawls as well? Why has he got to crawl like that for? This guy's scary. Attack the pinata, though. Oh, not quite. Not quite. We have a special selection. We could become the Storyteller, Mimic, Tiger Rock, Glitch Trap, Ruin Mimic, the Blob, the Tangle? Is that what it's called now? The Tangle instead of the Blob? I picked the one thing that I already was. Whoops, my bad. We can turn it to the Mimic. There he is. He's so much smaller. He's so much more tiny. We can become Tiger Rock again, even though we were just him earlier. We have Glitch Trap, the new and improved Glitch Trap. His hands are still doing that thing. That's a little weird. We have the Ruin Mimic. Look at this little guy. This guy's a freak. I love him. We have Burn Trap as well. And of course, the Tangle. Yeah, this guy's massive as well. So yeah, I guess the Tangle's a new name for him, which I didn't know they changed. Maybe they just clarified. Maybe it was never the Blob. I don't know. But we can turn back into the Storyteller. We have a ton of different abilities still. We can toggle the wires, the wireless. We have a transform. Um, small. You can make him a little bit smaller. How about that? We can toggle the head. Oh, no, it's lights. We need the lights in his head. Those are important. Toggle the screens. I didn't even notice those. That looks like the, the Help Wanted teaser. All the TVs in the background. We have a hard mode as well. We have a ceiling crawl. What is this thing have a ceiling crawl? I need to get to a part of the ceiling I can crawl on. Oh, there we go. That looks really weird. Oh, oh, I went too high. Oh, I went too high. Let me out. Let me down. We can spawn tentacles as well, because why not? And we have a transform to make them huge. For sounds, we have... Oh, my God. We have a lot of sounds. Sort limbs? What does he say? We have a laughter, possession hack, alarm, and a scream. What about animation? Oh, this is the cannon pose? Whatever that means. We have a lean left. We have a lean right. You got any games on your phone? Isotron. It's a big ice cream machine. He also has four arms like the storyteller. Hmm, a little suspicious. Surely we're not the, the storyteller in disguise. Look at all these flavors. Oh, <gasps> he does have peanut butter. I was gonna say he doesn't have the best flavor peanut butter. But he does. Why do you keep turning? I'm trying to look at you. Stop turning. Stop. Stop it. We have an attack. Throw a bunch of snowballs out of him. We can spawn some ice cream. Oh, he actually serves it? The animations are crazy. What is that? Oh, wait. I forgot to attack the pinata. Oh, not yet. Not quite. We have a ceiling crawl for this guy as well. We have a suit up. We could be Carl. Carl Cow. Okay. Strawberry Stella. Oh, they're different flavors. We have Minty Chip. Oh, I like Minty Chip. I like the cone on its head. And we could just be unsuited Isotron. We have the Frost Vision. Everything's cold. It's so cold. And we have a punch as well. What do you got to do to make Isotron upset that he'd punch you like that? Also, I just noticed he technically only has one hand. He has two scoops, a spatula or a scraper, and then a normal hand. This poor guy. Cheesy ice cream jingle. Oh, I like that. We have a breathing. And we have a winter air that goes perfect with activating the ice mode. We also have animations as well. We have a serve. These animations are so clean. We have a lean left, a lean right, a look up, and a spin. This might be the best animatronic I've ever seen. One scoop of peanut butter pistachio, please. What is this guy? Freddy Fuzzbar? Golly gee, I wonder who this imposter is really supposed to be. Perhaps a certain mimic type character? For more information on this party freak, call 155-FAKE on your freak phone right never because the phone number itself is fake oh my god i love him this is actually my favorite character i've ever seen in this game why does he run like that oh he can't get the tickets either he runs 
he's he's amazing. We have a possess. That definitely says poses. I can't read. Oh, he dabbed. Oh, that's the craziest dab I've ever seen. Arm into head. He doesn't care. All right, no more. Stop it. We have a suit up as well. We could be open mouth. All right, he's getting a little scary now. We have a hand mouth. I don't like that. Put that thing back where it came from. We have a mimic head as well. It's so cartoony. I love it. And then we have unsuited. We have a toggle microphone. We have a toggle eyes. Oh, it just changes them to orange. We have a ceiling crawl. Why does he jump like that? All right, this is hands down the best character in the entire game. You cannot convince me any other character is better than this guy. Look at him. Do the ceiling crawl. Oh, yeah. He's the best character. Look at him go. His arms are in his head, but that's fine. We have a hard mode as well. God, his eyes. They're pure white. Let's turn it back to normal. We have a punch. Now, why'd you do that? Wait, did the little mimic head pop out the last second? Whoops, wrong button. Oh, maybe it was just the eyes. It looked like the mimic head started popping out of the suit at the last second when the head came back. Let's see it one more time. That's really cool. We have a sprint as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100% best character. Best character, hands down. He kind of reminds me of Sid the Sloth. I don't know why. For animations, we do have a faker look up, lean left, lean right, and an arm flail. Why does he need that? Why does he need that? We have a taunt. We have a laugh. Friends are forever. Come on, say it. Oh, he's fake, so he doesn't say it. I get it. And a scream. No, I guess not a scream either. Is it because I'm doing the hand thing? No, he just doesn't. He doesn't speak. He doesn't want to talk, I guess. He's a little nervous. Don't blame him. Look at him. He's tried his best. But anyway, that is it for the TPR, TPRR update. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment down below. Let me know who your favorite is. I mean, I already know it's this guy. So, I mean, you don't got to tell me. But let me know either way in the comments. And I will see you next time. Happy Easter. Have a good day. Bye.